New York. This past season, he averaged 115 yards rushing per game. He surpassed 1,000 yards rushing for the year and scored 13 touchdowns. He was a team captain, and he was even named the homecoming king. He'll also be a captain this spring for the Elmont track team as he competes in 100 and 200 meter dashes. He plans on playing college football next season. Hi everyone, we're up here in the attic. This is one of the things on my checklist. I want to go through and take all of these empty boxes, get rid of them, take down all of the shelves, get rid of them, get rid of this table, organize all of these bins, and just get this attic in order. Let's take a look around and I'll show you. So, that and that are the last two standing shelves up here. They need to be cleared off and taken down and gotten rid of. This table I do not need. It needs to be gotten rid of. I want to be able to then take all of these bins. This is, I think, Christmas. I need to go through it and pull or and put all of those back up against that wall, stack them. I want to pull my Valentine's Day and my winter bins and take those down. And then I still need to get all of my Christmas bins up here. This is Halloween. And then I've got a bunch of my tiered tray decor up there. But I just have all these empty boxes. I have a bunch of bins way back there. Bins right here. I've got stuff that's outside of bins because I haven't. I ran out of rent. It's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So I need to really get this attic in order. Get rid of things that I do not need. He stayed up here this year because he has a little peppermint that fell off that needs to be glued back. Haven't found that. This is fall. It just, yeah. So this is what today's project is. <laughs> Lucky me. So I started throwing everything down that I wanted to get out of the attic. <laughs> How do I get down from the attic? <laughs> All right, here we have one bin, two bins, three bins, four bins. I'm going to take each one of these bins down, go through them. One is winter, so I'll take that and use that to decorate with. The other three just have little bits and pieces of Christmas in them that I can either throw away, donate, do whatever. I'm going to take these downstairs and empty at least one of these with the red top and see if I can get all of my clauses in it and all of my leftovers from this year's Christmas into it. Let's go. I have not taken any of this up yet, so it's been sitting here waiting. Um, 
because I wanted to get all of the rest of those bins down, go through them, see what I can get rid of, see if I can make room in enough room in one of those bins to put this leftover and then the leftover clauses and things. So, that's fun. So I have those two bins still. I have this one that I'm going to take to the Goodwill with all the other stuff. And then I have that one that is now empty that I'm going to save for this year's winter. And hopefully I can get it all into that. Hopefully I've gotten rid of enough that I can get all of my winter into that one bin. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. The only thing that's left are some hats that I have for my little cardinals or my crows or whatnots. I haven't, I don't know if I want to pull them out and go through all that. I'm trying to keep it minimal this year. Um, and then my stuff that I used to pack things away with that I didn't really use in the end or at the end of packing because <laughs> I'm like, just please go in the bin and put the top on and let's get rid of it. Let's just get it all back into the attic and not have it all over my house. So the spider plant is going to go where the Christmas cactus was um, and all of my plants are getting watered today. And that's fantastic. I'm going to finish, you know, taking care of these items after I run to the Goodwill and then we're going to change out the tablecloth and placemats and dishes and all that for the winter. All right, so here's what I'm left with. Everything's down. Whew. All of those bins have been taken down, gone through, got rid of a lot of stuff. I brought up my broom and my dust buster i'm going to clear out this area sweep it good and then start working on stacking my bins like that i'm going to put my christmas bins back on that wall so i'll be back to show you that so i said i was going to stop several hours ago and i still still haven't stopped Oh, so, I've got Halloween there, and then I've got fall there, and now I'm bringing up Christmas, and I've gotten three of the six up here. I have dropped a couple of them. I've had to throw pieces and parts up here just to get the bin up. Yeah, it was, it's bad. 
So once we get all of this side done, then I have to tackle all of that. I, I think that might be fall. I don't know. It's gross. I don't want it. I've got spring and Easter over there. I found some of my uh, Christmas and winter stuff I was looking for. Couldn't find it from a coffee bar. It, oh, ridiculous. Anyway, I've been going at this since about 12 o'clock this afternoon. It's like 5.30 now. So I've got three more bins to get up. And I'd really like to get them up and over with tonight and bring up that tree and be done with it so that I can focus tomorrow on scrubbing. Scrubbing floors and getting up all of the glitter and the nonsense. I see that that's leaning terribly over there. We don't, mm, who, who knows? <sighs> Crap, I've thrown down the steps. This is a pair of skis that goes with my skiing decor. We gotta take that down. We got a little poo poo waiting for us. Yes, we do. Little grainy, but you know, they're all gone. It took me from about 12.30 to 6 14 multiple trips up and down the attic steps up and down the stairs oh god I'm going to be so sore tomorrow but I'm going to be back tomorrow because I want you to see the aftermath and I want to have record of the aftermath I wish I had more footage of me trying to get those things up in the attic I, I, it's going to take me a week to recover from the mental torture. Okay? See you tomorrow.